you get a jury instruction in almost every jurisdiction that says if it's circumstantial evidence and you have two reasonable interpretations, one that points towards guilt, one that points towards innocence, they don't have any DNA. And I've had countless murder cases where they've pulled the DNA from the victim from the inside of somebody's truck, the inside of somebody's car, on the bed frame of a mattress that they found someplace else. But they don't have that as well. So if you have that and you have no other connection to these people, and if the defense can just suggest, based on a the two unexplained male DNAs that they found, and ironically, one uh, one piece from a glove that was found outside of the location, uh, there is a substantial, reasonable doubt, at least based on the evidence we know about.